Now, in addition to the mission profile, um, there are other requirements that need to be met. Things like the takeoff distance, which is related to the airports at which the aircraft is intended to operate. Maneuverability related to how tight the aircraft should be able to turn. Um, this is especially important um, for non-commercial aircraft, but some maneuverability considerations are, are important for commercial aircraft as well, especially at low altitude. And this one can be important for commercial aircraft, which is climb rate. Now these other requirements will be ignored in this current first pass analysis, but we'll discuss these sorts of things later on. Now each mission is divided into segments, uh, often called legs. And so, for example, for the simple cruise, um, we had one, which is the warm up and takeoff, two, which is the climb, three, which is the main cruise, four, is the loiter, and five is landing. Then we use these subscripts, one, two, three, four, five, uh, on the weight to denote the end of a segment. So W naught is the beginning, therefore that's the gross takeoff weight. Um, what W1 would be at the end of the first leg, etc. Now during each leg, the aircraft loses weight by burning fuel. So we're going to neglect weight drops during this preliminary analysis. Um, but as we discussed, uh, even for three out of the four profiles discussed here, um, we wouldn't want to consider any weight drops anyway. So the segment weight fraction is then defined as W sub i over W sub i minus 1. So this is the weight at the end of the segment over the weight at the end of the previous segment or at the start of the segment. So if we have x segments, Wx over W naught, which would be the final one, is equal to W1 over W0, W2, over W1, etc., up to Wx over Wx minus 1. And Wx over W0 can then be used to estimate the fuel weight. So the next task is to estimate the wi over wi minus 1s. Now, these come again from empirical data from Raymer. This is from table 3.2. So we have some estimated values one up and take off zero point nine seven zero climb zero point nine eight five landing. 
So note that we neglected the descent here. Um, we typically will just assume that the cruise ends with a descent.